Dr. Matthew from Fendo Kennels. So today I'm taking Dotty, is a dog from Hong Kong, who's going to the airport, who'll be flying to Paris, and then we'll be going to the UK overseas by 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 road. The first thing we're considering is the welfare of the pet. During this long journey where they're going to be in an aeroplane where they're, they're not with their family and where they can be anxious. So, so we consider, you know, as a veterinarian, I consider what we can do to, to help this process and make it, make it uh, less anxious and less, less, less difficult for, for each pet. So when we're considering pet travel, we are considering the animal welfare. For animal welfare, there's, there's five freedoms, or five things we, we consider for animal welfare. There's freedom from pain, there's freedom to express normal behavior, such as being able to turn around, there's freedom, freedom to eat and drink, there's freedom from fear and distress, and there's freedom from pain and injury or, or, or disease. Okay, apart from a veterinarian, as a pet shipper, it's incredibly important for every move to be smooth for the for the, for the journey to be as smooth as possible. So, so lucky for Dotty today, there's not been any flight delays, there's not been any flight cancellation, and, and we were able to get pet space on the aeroplane, which, which nowadays can be, quite, can be quite challenging. So I just want to talk through the, the, the very top, uh, the most common problems for, 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 for pet travel, for the documentation. So, number one, rabies vaccine and the dog license. Often the rabies vaccine, the, the, the details, the date of birth, the, the breed, the, the, the color, things like this, they often don't match the dog license, the vaccine card, maybe the previous vaccine card. So you can have two documentations or three, which uh, they, they don't match. So when we present these documents to the AFCD for the health certificate endorsement by the government, there's a problem. So that's the, that's the most important thing. Second thing is the date and time of the deworming. For, for dogs, because Dottie is going almost to the UK, the uh, dogs have to have a, had a tapeworm treatment done five days before they arrive in the UK, uh, within five days of arriving in the UK, uh, you know, less than five days. And so the timing of that needs to be considered very closely as to when your pet will arrive in the UK and when it was done by a veterinarian in Hong Kong. Another thing to consider is actually the rabies vaccine itself, the, the date of the rabies vaccine. Because in Hong Kong, uh, dogs, dogs only need to have a rabies vaccine every three years and cats don't need to have a rabies vaccine. However, for the UK requirements, they're looking to see that, that in their mind for the UK rules, that they, they are happy. And for the, for the UK, they require the rabies vaccine to be done within the last 12 months. And so, so please consider that as well. So those are three key things to consider. So the, the date of the rabies vaccine, is it okay for the UK government? The, the documentation, do the dates all, the date of birth, does it match on all of the documents, the dog license and the health certificate? Sorry, dog license, yeah, the health certificate and the vaccine cards, is it all the same? And the deworming date, is the deworming date correct to satisfy the UK? Okay, thank you so much for your time today and safe travels.
Dirty. Okay, okay. Well done. Relax. Okay.